So we parked up for the night at Durham Grange, uh, which is three miles outside of Durham Centre. It's quite a nice site, a lot of noise from the road, um, but hopefully it's not quieting down tonight. And the noise doesn't really bother us, we wear earplugs anyway. Um, so I just thought I'd have a bit of a walk around the site, show you some of the facilities. It's quite a nice little site, well maintained, staff seem really friendly. Um, we've got a fully serviced pitch, which means electric hookup, water, waste, yada yada yada. Um, we've just booked this place for one night. Um, we're moving from Bridlington in East Riding up towards Berwick via Lindisfarne and Holy Island, which is something we've wanted to do for a while, so quite looking forward to it. As you can see, there's a there's a few vehicles on here, a few motorhomers, a couple of caravans, all very nice. It is a caravan and motorhome club site, um, with all the standard facilities, um, including a book hotel, which many of them have, bird boxes, car parking, check-in was really easy. We were just given a map and told to go and choose which ones we wanted from a certain selection of what was available as fully serviced pitches. Um, so we've done that and gone back and informed them and got a pass for the gate now. So here is the reception office. Um, and then there's a little information room at the side of it, which I'm going to have a mooch in shortly. Always a good source for finding DVDs, books to borrow, information leaflets, bus timetables, things like that. There's a lovely walk along the river into Durham itself. And um, three miles, roughly three miles each way. And um, because we've got here quite late though, we've done a lot of walking over the last three days. And um, we just, we've decided to just stay, stay put tonight. Um, have some dinner. Put the telly on, maybe watch a DVD, play a game, whatever it might be. So here are the facilities, I'm just on my way in to show you around. It's very quiet, so I don't mind showing you. So, gents, access toilets, baby and toddler and laundry, the dishwashing room, and then the ladies. Just make sure there's nobody in before I do go in here recording. So there's a defibrillator in the information room and then um, showers with seats all the way around and there's a modifier for disability use which actually if it's quiet these are quite nice because you can take the shower head, lift it out um, for washing your hair and things it's just a bit nicer. So all the wash basins, sinks and dryers. Two hair dryers and a full length mirror so you can check yourself out. And then the toilets. All nice and lit and ventilated, very clean. They're all quite standard, I think we've seen a few different types, but yeah, they're all they're all quite standard really. So now I'm gonna head into the laundry room. Because I've got some laundry to do. <laughs> When you're travelling, you stuff things to do. So, again, wash basins. Got a little more dryer. This is a washing machine. It works on tokens here. So, a machine wash is four tokens, a, a rinse and spin is one, um, and then the tumble dryer is 15 minutes for one pound token. Tokens are available in reception, and you can redeem any that you don't use. So, I'm going to show you the baby toddler room if it's open. No, it's locked. Okay, so, showing you around. It's late in the afternoon now and there's the sun going down. 